Hey guys. So, um, do you know what sucks? Life. Life sucks. It doesn't always suck, but it sucks a lot for me right now. I've been having just the crappiest couple of months of my life. I can say that without exaggerating one bit. I've had a horrible time. I felt so bad. And I really just wanted to make a quick video talking about how books have helped me quite a bit during this period of my life and also how I think books can continue to help me. Now this is all just from my own experiences so it's not something that I know is going to help everybody else, the things that I have done and the ways I've used books to help. But I still wanted to make this quick video, just have uh, you know, get it all out there a bit, because I need, I need therapy, apparently. Or so the doctors tell me. Anyway, the first way books have helped me is not in the obvious way, you know, the, the escape part of books. Like, obviously it helps reading books just because you get away from reality for a moment, and sometimes that is just exactly what you need, like you just need to escape real life for a while and have a nice time in some imaginary world or just, you know, somebody else's life if you're reading biographies or anything at all. It helps you escape, but that's not like the biggest way books have helped me really during this time, I have to say. Although it's an obvious help and I won't talk too much about that because I'm sure we have all experienced what it's like to escape into a book and just forget about reality for a while. One of the ways uh, that I realized that book could help, books could help me was when I got back to work after I'd had a really, really bad week. Um, I got back to work. I did not feel like talking to anyone. I didn't want people asking me how I was, not even like you do when you meet someone you know, like, hey, how are you? Because I just knew I wouldn't be able to answer that I was good and I didn't want to be like, well, life sucks, it's shit, um, bitter as fuck, you know? <laughs> I didn't want to answer that because honestly that would either just make them uncomfortable or ask me more, which is something I really wanted to avoid. And I'm usually quite social at work. I like to go outside during my breaks because that's where all the cool people are. That's not true. I don't know why I said that. But I usually go outside during my breaks, hang out with my colleagues, talk about nothing, you know, but during this period of time I did not want to talk about anything, not nothing, not anything. And so I decided to bring a book to work and during my breaks I would just go sit in like the remotest corner I could find of the staff room and hide behind my book. And you know what I noticed? People don't like to interrupt you when you have a book in front of your face. Some people still do, but then I think you kind of have the right to be a bit, you know, distant <laughs> towards them because you're with a book, you're reading, like, don't disturb me. Uh, so that worked really, really well. And I gotta say, even though I some days could not focus on reading during my breaks because I was focusing on getting through the day, <laughs> you know, just like surviving, uh, just having a book as a kind of <sighs> hiding place so that people wouldn't come up to me and talk to me and try to socialize when that was the last thing I wanted. It really, really helped. You know, hiding behind a book, just a great cover. It's not the same sitting with your mobile phone, it's just not. You know, people will come talk to you anyway, but with a book, they stay clear. Something else I wanted to talk about is that there are books that actually can help with their story when you're having a bad time. Now, I've never had one of these books that, you know, this book is what I read when I'm sad, you know, except for like Harry Potter, but I read that book when I'm sad, when I'm happy, when I'm, you know, I read that series all the time. Uh, and of course, that is one thing you can do, go back to something you know you're gonna love and you're gonna enjoy every step of the way, even though you know it by heart, something familiar to you might be just what you need, and that is something absolutely you could do. But I was more thinking of like, maybe books that could relate to your problems a bit more, 
without being actual self-help books. I mean, self-help books, I, I don't know, I haven't tried them. Possibly they're great, maybe I should, I don't know. But I do think I said in my last wrap-up that A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness is a book that I would recommend to anyone going through a bad time. And now this was just before all the, you know, shit storms started raining down on me. And I think it's quite funny that I said that, you know, this book was horrible and I loved it. And I think I said, I don't know why, but I would give this book to anyone going through a bad time and I really think it would help them. And so I have not reread this book while I've been going through uh, this shitty period, but I think I will. This book actually deals with a lot of the themes I'm going that I can recognize in my life right now without going into any details, but it it's pretty close to what I'm going through. And so I think possibly it might help. I remember thinking that it would, when I read it, it would help someone going through a hard time to, you know, work through it. I think it'd be a good read, but still now I'm like, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> Is it good or bad to read something so that seems very close to me right now. I'm not sure. I think I'll give it a try though. If you can take reading about something that has something to do with your problem, I think that might help uh, if it's a good book. And uh, But I think we're different there. Possibly it's a very bad idea for some people to do that and maybe some people can do it and actually feel better afterwards. I don't know where I stand there, but I think I will try it out. Other books I have noticed that I like to read when I'm feeling bad is books in my own language. So I'm Swedish and I've been reading a few Swedish books, which is not something I do very often, I'm sad to say. I'm an English reader. Since I mostly read stuff by authors that are English speakers. I like to read it in the language it was written uh, and so it's often English for me and I don't read a lot of Swedish books and it's a shame because there are a lot of good ones and I think there's something about reading a good book in your own language that just kind of helps. I, I cannot explain it. It's Maybe it's the familiarity with the language and you know, the fact that it's often set in your country, you know. Like right now I'm reading this book. Uh, in Swedish it's called Torka aldrig tårar utan handskar uh, by Jonas Gardell. Um, and I, I, I love this. I really enjoy reading something that is set in Sweden you know, in places that I've been even, and reading something that is nicely written uh, in my own language is weirdly comforting to me. I can't explain it, but it's helped a lot, actually. And this book, it's its kind of horrible, actually. It's uh, Jonas Gadell is really a stand-up comedian and a writer, obviously. Um, and he is a gay man um, who went through the whole, you know, gays coming out into society kind of deal. So this book is actually about the 80s uh, when gays started coming out more and they were really persecuted and treated very, very badly. And it was a struggle and, you know, you started discovering like uh, HIV and AIDS and how that was like the gay disease and it's kind of horrible but weirdly comforting and I don't know it's it's something I've noticed this time around when I'm feeling really shitty that reading in my own language it doesn't really matter as long as it's nicely written it comforts me well that was a few of the ways that uh, reading has helped me uh, at least get through this you know step by step getting through this very horrible period of my life. Uh, I would love to know if there are any book recommendations that you guys might have for people feeling badly. Um, anything you could recommend would be really really nice 
and what do you guys do when you're feeling badly? How do books affect your life when you're having a crappy period of, of your life? Uh, please let me know in the comments, I would love to know and any tips you can give me is greatly appreciated at this time. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you another time. Bye!